Hi everyone, I'm Ella Duffy and welcome to the online launch of my pamphlet New Hunger which comes out today with the Poetry Business. To celebrate this launch I'm going to be giving a short reading from the book so grab yourselves a drink and I hope you enjoy. Fifteen. A tarot reader told me I had the spirit of the devil, that my partner should sleep below a bag of boiled oats, having nailed the heart of a beetroot to bleed down the door of our flat. Fasting would starve it out, she said, but in those empty weeks I envied the dead, till a pain in my gums shucked the front teeth from my mouth and a tongue horsewhipped into the room. My breath was a tannery. How could I kiss her? My lover came with ice for the sweats, calm somehow, even as my lower back opened to mud, and a tail probed its muscle towards the light. The air was nettle. Arms grew arms, grew the medieval weight of a hoof, from each paw, a thorn. My body bristled, a clove-studded ham. I wouldn't be touched. My eyes sunk in and back, popped through the skull like peeled fruits. There would be no tears. Sightless, my sense of smell urgent as a horny stray. I welcomed new hunger. Nightjar. The goats have gone blind. Something awake after dark has milked the pen dry. Tonight I stay up, walk the saw field to find a nightjar draining a sheep. Its routine of pierce and suck, suckle and sip, disturbed. It stares, prehistoric. Shakes the cream from its beak, then allows the dark to steal it back. Back home, you sleep naked, breasts pale as milk, under my cheek, my hand. Faith. When you said, would you rather I believed in God or ghosts? You were really asking if it were possible to carry on, if one of us believed in something the other couldn't. How lack of the same faith could be a religion for new lovers, in those quiet, hot weeks, spent in bars, between sheets. So I paused and prayed at your lips, our breaths, ghosting on my words. Neither, I said, both. Halves. When the sea had me by the waist, I cupped my hands between my legs and pushed out my daughter. She could not know then, as I licked the cool from her scalp, that men would rate her as rare leather. Boats sag their bellies of netting for skin which might sieve a woman. The way her father had angled me from my pod, turned me out of fur to boast a girl. I carried my child as a stone, could never have seen us now, Mother and pup, the two halves of a mussel shell, dipping the shy grey of our backs under foam and back into rumour. Or, 
Under a kinder sun, a lizard finds sleep in the pleats of a flower. We buy a house with a garden. Each morning, I check the roses for little dreamers. Pass this ritual on to our children. Teach them to map the last garden. Our firstborn stares at a butterfly, reading itself on a wall. Thanks so much everyone for watching and for celebrating the launch of New Hunger with me. If you like what you heard, do head to the Poetry Business website and grab yourselves a copy. That would be a joy. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to everyone at the Poetry Business for all of their support and guidance. It's been an absolute blast. So keep well everyone and cheers!